another celebrity wet. This is Innuendo Bingo. Yes, yeah, here we go then. So Ian Sterling, Voice of Love Island, is yep. here today. And a very funny man. You should go and see him on his tour. <laughs> some, Joe's just put some tickets. She's very excited. Oh, cheers, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... First time for Ian on In You and the Bingo today. Yep. Um, what are you... Oh, you've got a kind of fashion something around your waist there. I've, like got, a, I've gone um, tight. I've worn stripey. Stripey, lovely. Chris, you're wearing a hot dog. Hot dog. Obviously. <laughs> okay. Um, so loads of water in your mouths, please. Don't be afraid to spray. First, it's one of our favourite clips from earlier in the week, and it's from Caravanner of the Year on BBC Two. Now, the contestants on this show, you've missed Caravanner of the Year because you've been in Mallorca. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They really get put through their paces in order to decide who's going to be crowned the Caravanner of the Year. <laughs> Although this sounds maybe, I don't know, maybe more like a, a Love Island challenge than something that they would do on this show. Right. Well, the clock says one hour. <laughs> Eleven minutes. Oh, that's not bad. You have won the that's record bad. for the that's slowest bad. direction. <laughs> no hands, Ian. If it's, uh, if it's going to go, it's going to oh, go over Chris. Right over my sausage. <laughs> one hour and 11 minutes is seriously slow, though. I've got, I've called as well. I'm really worried that, like... Oh, no, you're not. not. Gonna, no, yeah. I'm joking. It's all fine. You have won the record for the that's slowest bad. direction. <laughs> Water, please. Now, we have to go back to this classic clip from Motors TV and their flagship show, Bike World. We visited this on Tuesday. They have the very best presenters in the biking world, including Susie Taylor, who's really, really popular. And here's why. As I said before, I'm not a particularly gifted off-road rider, which is why we leave that stuff up to Susie, because she loves it up the dirt track. <laughs> 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 Susie loves riding off-road, which is why she's on Bike World. Top show. <laughs> she is good. Water, please. That was a good spray there. OK, we're going over to a classic from Simon Mayo's Drive Time show on BBC Radio 2. We join Simon ahead of bonfire night, and he's chatting to his callers about their local firework displays. Wow. Now, I'm not sure what sort of uh, firework display caller John is going to, but um, I imagine, well, I don't know, maybe he won't have the time to, to try this while he's there. Where are the fireworks, John? Uh, at the marina here. Oh, OK. Yeah. So, and are you going with anyone special, or are you just uh, going to go down on yourself? <laughs> Sorry, I just, you just spilled my we glass back up. That was kind of gross. What happened? I sort of spat, but it, it landed almost exclusively in his car. Oh, lush. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, John there at the fireworks display. Just uh, going to go down on yourself? <laughs> Water, please. Ian Sterling is playing Inyo de Bingo now, an amazing clip from Emmerdale on ITV. And it looks like Sandy is in one of his grumpy old moods again. Oh. Right there where you are. I fingered every last one of you! <laughs> <laughs> I should have brought a change of jeans. He, he was slightly, you're under citizen's arrest, wasn't he? Mm. I fingered every last one of you! <laughs> <laughs> now, that'll the reason. Take, that'll take him forever. The reason for Sandy's foul temper, he was raging after finding out that the local youths had trampled all over his wife's flower beds. Yes. That's one. Ah, oh, right. Water, please. <laughs> Let's go to Chris Evans' breakfast show on Radio 2. And Chris is reading out an email from listener Stuart. Now, Ian, you, uh, you're from Edinburgh, right? Mm -hmm. OK. So you might be able to confirm something for us. Does this actually happen on the ferry to Glasgow? Because if it does, why would you consider driving there? Listen to this. Morning, Lynn. This is from Stuart Clark. Morning, Stuart. Morning, Stuart. He says, I'm sitting in my wagon in Wisbech, or Wis Beach, waiting to get loaded onto the ferry so I can be blown all the way to Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've done that a couple of times, to yeah. be fair. Yeah? So. Okay, cool. Water, please. Next, it's Channel 4's Sunday Brunch. Great fun going on the cooking shows. I might have mentioned it to you, Chris. I went on your favourite Saturday Kitchen a few weeks mm. ago. Mm. You couldn't make it. Mm, yeah. I'm always a little bit worried about the food I'm given to taste, though, because I'm a fairly fussy eater. 
Although I am quite keen on what Simon Rimmer is offering up here. So that's all on next week's show. Okay. There we go. Have a dig in on that. So what you get is that lovely penis you taste. You get the jam underneath. <laughs> What's she cooking? Peanutty. Oh. It's a taste of peanuts. So that's all on next week's show. Okay. There we go. Have a dig in on that. So what you get is that lovely penisy taste. You get the jam underneath. Oh, mm -hmm. Go and dig in on that. Lovely. It's horrible. <laughs> and next, it's Radio 4, and we join star of Winter Watch and Spring Watch, Chris Packham. They have such a way with words on Radio 4. They really can paint just this wonderful picture in your mind's eye, but... I've never heard it called this before. I gasped with joy, and I drew my eyes closer to it to be dazzled. I wiped away the spilled slop of the river, polished the glare, and thrust my fingers into the sparkle jar. <laughs> I'm so sorry, mate. I oh, I see. That's the name of his autobiography. It was a good one. Mm. And thrust my fingers into the sparkle jar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm using that next year as a love island. Yeah, actually, yes. You could you could use a few of these, I think. Finally today, a classic from the Today programme on BBC Radio 4, presented by Evan Davis. Now, the team at the Today Show are uh, under such great pressure, like at the beating heart of the day's news agenda, so it's no wonder that their minds, and especially Evan's, can wander from time to time. You're listening to Today on Radio 4 with James Nocte in Edinburgh and Evan Davis in London. It's eight o'clock. Clock. Oops. <laughs> and that was Ian Sterling in your bingo. Thanks so much for being on, Ian. One.